Hello family, welcome to the channel. Today I will be making lamb chops, loaded mashed potatoes, and fried corn. Let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna season the lamb chops up, some Cajun seasoning. You know, hit it with that Cajun. Get a little spice, a little kick, a little adobo. You know, all purpose season. You know, a little saison throw up in there. You know, I just like it for the color. You know, some more adobo. We'll season this up real good. You know, massage it in. And get it right. You know what I mean, you can these these lamb shoulder chops. You know what I mean? Couldn't find the ones with the with the long bone and it's like it's hard to find them. <laughs> I think everybody buying them up. Yeah, we're gonna season them up again. A little bit more, a little bit more season. That saison get that, that color that, that I'm looking for. Yeah, this is the, uh, you know, the oil ready. A little butter, teaspoon of garlic. You know, let that simmer down a little bit. Now we're finna drop this lamb off in here. Sear it up real good. This is this a quick, easy meal. You know, you know your family would love it. Delicious, delicious. Throw the onion on top. Got a little onion, little white onion. minutes on each side you know. look at the color that. that's, that's, how I, that's how I like it to look that color that saison just give it that color that I be looking for Cooking good, no, it's, it's cooking good. It's cooking good, living good. Yes. Add some more butter to to the pot, to the pan. And add our fresh herbs. And we got some rosemary. You know, they'll give you some more flavor. You know, just lamb and you know, lamb and rosemary. Just that that flavor that just it's great. You know, we got some thyme. We'll throw off in there too. Go we'll let this cook down some more. some more butter you know you don't want your meat to stick we don't want the meat to stick so we, go, we gotta add more butter to it I forgot to add my garlic cloves you know I, I usually add garlic cloves to it you know so if you, you It's cooking good, looking good, and smelling good. Now we're finna baste the meat. We're gonna baste it. You know, basically, you know, you're just cooking it, you know, in its own juices and basting it. Uh, you know, make 
should be based all on. Give that flavor, that extra, that extra, mm, extra kick. Flip them over and we'll base the other side. That lamb looking good though. That lamb looking good. Now we go on with the potatoes, you know, homemade potato smash, red potatoes, you know, we we'll go with two cups of water. Add our chicken broth, you know, get a potatoes flavor. Add a little bit more water to it. Cover the potatoes up. Now we can let these cook. You know, till they get real tender. Add a little butter. Two tablespoons of butter. Can't go wrong with mash. But the lamb is cooking, it's cooking good, it's looking good, and it's smelling good. Potatoes are cooking. Everything's cooking. Here we go. Potatoes done now. Finna mash them up. Have a stick of butter. Tablespoon of sour cream, a cup of milk. But you can't, like I was saying, you can't go wrong with you know homemade mash. You can use any potato. You know, I I I prefer the you know the red potato. You know, but uh, can't go on wrong with it. Homemade mash. But we go we go take it up another notch. We go do the loaded mash. We go do the loaded. I, I like little chunks in mine too. There we go. Even it out. Got chopped broccoli I'm adding to it. Got some bacon I'm finna add to it. Sharp cheddar. We're we'll gonna throw this in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. You know, 20 to 30 minutes, let it brown. You know, let your cheese, you know, cook. Now we're going to the corn. You go to fried corn, copycat style, Cajun corn. It's like wing stock, basically, but better. You know, you cook the corn for like 
six to seven minutes. You know, we got some melted butter over here. We're gonna drop that corn off in it. Drop the corn off in the melted butter. You know, give it that flavor. shake you know, make sure the butter get on all the corns you know, no corn left without and we're gonna add our cajun seasoning onto this corn take the corn to a whole nother level a whole nother level and i tell you let's defend the results you know we got the, the corn we got the lamb you know what I mean here we go that's it that's what it look like finished results that's a little gravy I'm dropping on now the finished results here look good tastes great Yeah, but you know, like I was saying, it's an easy meal that you can make for your family or, you know, yourself, you know. But, uh, this is it. But, you know, thank you for watching. You know what I mean? Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out.